a new day, a new project. I have this battery, it's a Xilina, or better say Xinlina. That's the Chinese way to pronunciate X. It's made in uh, Shanghai by Xilina company, anyway. So this is a kind of uh, interesting battery, it's 24 volts on 7 amps and uh, I'm trying to wake up this battery if I may say and uh, I've been open up the caps look inside pretty dry and I put some water in I want to use it for a spare laptop battery you know a kind of external laptop battery you saw my solar panels and I have a lot of energy every day I, and I want to to charge this battery by the solar. Let's start with checking the voltage. And it's 24.6. That's a very promising uh, voltage. And uh, of course, the single way to find if this battery is still alive or not is to charge it and discharge it. And I'm going to use my uh, Charsun antimatter. Unfortunately, for a uh, for lead acid, there is no cycling menu, but I'm gonna do some chargings and discharging's, and of course, let's start with uh, charging. So there we have some charging numbers, no more than 2.1 amps, and uh, we'll keep that in mind. The charger got set to 2.1 amps. But uh, you can see the, the battery is taking only 1.4 amps. Well, that's not bad somehow because I really don't know the state of charge of this battery. Anyway, if it's taking 1.4, that's pretty good. That's a good sign for the beginning, of course. Let's wait for the process to finish. Usually the charging current it's dropping but not in our case so uh, I can see the the charging current it's rising slowly we began with uh, 1.4 now it's 1.5 amps uh, and after 5 minutes it's 1.7 amps well that's interesting let's wait a little bit more Here we are, 19 minutes, 1.7 amps, already 550 milliamps in the battery, taking the charge very well, and here we are after two hours, and suddenly I heard some pops, the rubber tops went out, there are gazes of course, and I was checking the temperature, handily, <laughs> but there's no problem with that, everything is fine, the battery is cool. Well, here is something to say about uh, protection when you are working with any kind of uh, lead acid and, uh, uh, you know, plumb and all this kind of batteries. So, there is a sodium bicarbonate solution. What is that? sodium bicarbonate that's baking soda you know this is a uh, salt so if you have a solution like that anytime you're touching a battery like this one and uh, afterwards you wash your hands or clean your hands with a little uh, bicarbonate uh, sodium bicarbonate solution then it neutralizes the acid it's very important because you can you can feel the acid on your hands you can spread it all around of course it should be better to have some gloves but uh, sometimes we just in a hurry you know or the hobby way to do the thing is just to do it don't think about consequences anytime i'm working with acid i have this sodium bicarbonate around me it's very simple it's soda baking you have it in the kitchen for sure this one will neutralize all the acid then you you can even wash 
the battery to have all the acid gone. Second phase of the test is discharging and here we are after 2 hours and 53 minutes 1.75 amps the battery it's like maybe third of the capacity that's not so bad it's still usable for I don't know for backing up some things or even for uh, for my laptop but uh, it's not exactly the power I was expecting for the truth is that when a battery at least this kind of batteries you know lead acid doesn't matter if it's a gel or a VRLM or any kind of technology when it's gone it's gone there is no way to turn it back there is a lot of folklore about uh, all kind of uh, magic uh, potion uh, things like this, you know, electronic stuff, you know, to bring your battery back to life. No way. When it's gone, it's gone. Here we are back after 48 hours. I let the battery rest to see what's happening. And now it's time to check the internal resistance. I'm using IR1035 Plus for checking the internal resistance. And you can see over there we have 24.5 volts and we have around 68.9 67 milli ohms that's not good at all a battery like this in a good state of uh, health should have around 35 36 milli ohms so this one is pretty wasted but i'm still gonna use it like a backup battery or anything else i don't want to throw it away you know the rule number one it's recycle and uh, of course again don't throw any kind of batteries in the trash it's uh, really poison for the environment anyway that was for today i hope it's useful and uh, if you like please subscribe don't forget to have fun be safe and see you soon in some other projects bye bye